We're now going to look at the rules for calculating a enthalpy reaction, entropy reaction, and free energy of reaction by using the um, formation reactions. And this first one we covered in General Chem 1 last semester's class. Uh, but we're going to be doing all this at standard states. So this uh, covered uh, standard states. So that superscript, uh, the zero superscript is representing that we're at standard states of uh, 25 Celsius, which is 298 Kelvin. All gases are one atmosphere of pressure. All solutions are one polarity. And any solid or liquid is pure. And uh, the next slide, we'll come back and look at uh, the new meaning that our delta G naught will have uh, compared to delta G. Um, so I'll just introduce that uh, delta G naught is spontane spontaneity at standard state conditions, but away from standard state conditions, it no longer represents spontaneity, it represents the position of the equilibrium constant. And we'll see that in our next uh, uh, video. So our formation reactions are forming the compounds from the elements in which standard states. And um, because of that, we're forming uh, it from the elements. When we're looking at elements themselves, uh, the formation reaction for enthalpy and free energy give us zero values. Uh, for the elements in the standard states. The entropy, its zero is a perfect crystal at zero Kelvin. So in the standard state condition, the, um, the elements will not be zero. So we're going to add up all the products times their coefficient from the balance equation and subtract off all the reactants times their coefficients in the balance equation. So we have three forms of this, one for enthalpy, one for entropy, one for free energy. So they're all going to be the formation uh, compound uh, times the coefficients, products minus reactants. So that means we can look up in tables these formation um, enthalpies, entropies, and free energies, and then calculate uh, the properties for any reaction. Uh, that we want. So let's do uh, two of these. So we have uh, iron plus oxygen gives us iron oxide. So we can look up our enthalpy information. The iron is an element in standard state, so it's enthalpy information zero. Oxygen element in standard state is enthalpy information zero. And then the rust, Fe2O3, has an enthalpy information of minus 8.6 kilojoules per mole. For entropy, uh, we all have positive values uh, for each one, including the elements in their standard states. So we're going to take products times the coefficient. So the coefficient two times the enthalpy formation, and we subtract off the reactants. Coefficient four times the enthalpy formation of zero. Coefficient three times the enthalpy formation of zero. And we end up with a negative 1652 kilojoules for this reaction. Uh, the enthalpy information is given as kilojoules per mole, but we're multiplying by moles, so we end up with going kilojoules. We do the same thing for entropy. So product 2 times the 90 minus 4 times the 27 minus 3 times the 205, and we end up with a negative 543 joules per kelvin. So to get delta G, we weren't given the and the free energy of formations, we can't use this equation. So we're going to go back to our delta H minus T delta S. We we're asked to do this at 290 Kelvin. So we put in our um, enthalpy. And uh, I convert to joules. So I'm matching the joules in the entropy. We have to make sure that we're matching our units between these two. And you can go to kilojoules because that's the unit that we want for our free energy. So I have the enthalpy minus temperature times the entropy, and we end up with a um, 
minus 1,490,000, 186 joules. So uh, minus 1,490 kilojoules uh, for this reaction. So doing another one of this, um, so I'm taking our ethylene, adding hydrogen to make ethane. We have our formation values for enthalpy, entropy, and free energy. And the entropy is not actually formation. That's why there's no subscript F. So it's the entropy of the compound as is. So it's not taken from the elements in the standard state. It's taken from the zero, uh, the perfect crystals at zero Kelvin. So we're going to do our products. We have one product each time. We're subtracting off the two reactants, each with coefficient of one. And uh, we do that. We get negative 136. 0.7 kilojoules for enthalpy, negative 120.5 for entropy, and negative 100.9 for our free energy. And we could have gotten this same answer by using this equation, the delta H minus T delta S. So for free energy, we have two different ways. If we don't have the formation free energy given to us, we use delta H minus T delta S. If we have our free energy, we can use that and uh, get the answer there. And as for the standard temperature of uh, 298 Kelvin. But we can figure out what our free energy is at other temperatures using this equation here. So we're going to, um, we can look at what free energy is at 350 Kelvin. So we do a delta H minus T delta S. Uh, we put in our numbers, making sure our units are matching, so I want joules this time. Uh, then I end up uh, with my answer in joules, I convert it into kilojoules, and it's in minus 11.4 kilojoules. So we see it didn't change too much from 298, but it changed some from that 298. 